welcome to Lamplight Crochet. My name is Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to make this baby drool bib. This bib is not as large as a normal bib that people would use. It's meant to catch drool during the times that a baby would be teething. And I want to mention that you should never place anything that ties or fixes around a baby's neck um, when they're asleep. So this product is intended to be used when a baby is fully awake and fully supervised at all times. So this drool bib is a six month to nine month size. I'll be demonstrating with a solid white 100% cotton yarn for about a three to four uh, or five month size. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make these baby drool bibs. Okay, in order to make this baby drool bib, we will need 100% cotton yarn. I'm going to demonstrate in white here. I did this one in a variegated color. And we will need a G hook, which is a 4.25 millimeter. And you'll need just about an inch to an inch and a quarter of Velcro stripping in order to sew on this side of the strap to attach it to the bib. And you'll also need a needle and thread in order to sew this on with. No. You'll also need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. All right, let's begin. Okay, we need to place a slip knot on the hook. So we're going to wrap the yarn around the upper two fingers, turn our hand over, place the hook underneath the first piece and pull the second piece down in. Then we need to tighten the two ends and place it on the hook like that. We also now need to make five chain. So let's wrap it around the hook, pull down in one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to crochet back across this row. We're going to do two, one, one, two. We're going to be doing single crochet. So we place our hook into the second chain from the hook and we place the hook underneath and wrap it around, pull it through, wrap it around, pull it through two. That's one single crochet. We're going to do another one in the same stitch. Now we'll do one in the next stitch. One in the next stitch over. And now we're going to do two in the very last stitch. When we do two in one stitch, we're increasing. So we want to increase on this bib on each end of the row until we get to the width that we need. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to make two single crochet in the very first stitch. One, two. We're going to make one in the next one one in the next one, one in the next one, one in the next one. Now we're going to make two on the very last stitch of the row. We should end up with eight single crochet across, so let's check and see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're just going to keep repeating the pattern of two single crochet on each end of the row and one single crochet in each stitch in between. So let me go on to row three. We chain one, turn our work, single crochet two in the very first stitch, one in every stitch in between, and it's gradually increasing into a V for a bib shape. Okay, we're at the very end. Now we're going to place two in that one at the very end. And as you can see, that is starting to create a shape, okay? So now you need to continue to repeat this pattern of two in the very first stitch, one all the way across until the very end, and two in the last stitch until you come to the row where you have 28 stitches across. And I'll see you there. Okay, once you have reached the row where you have 28 single crochet across, 
then we will stop increasing and we will just do four or five, you get to choose, four or five rows of one single crochet in every stitch across on top of that. So I am going to show you the next row that you will be going to. We're just going to be doing one single crochet in every stitch across. So we're at the end of the very first row of 28. I did a smaller swatch, so mine's only at 24, I think. So let's chain one, turn, and we're going to do one single crochet in every single stitch across. You do need to do that for at least four rows. If you want to do five, that's fine. You look at your bib and see how tall you want it to be. And uh, I will meet you back at your even rows of one single crochet across in every single stitch so that I can show you how to do the edging. Okay, so continue doing one single crochet for at least four rows. If you want to do five, you can, and then we'll do the edging. We'll see you there. Okay, we're at the very end of our last even row of 28 single crochet all the way across. I've made a smaller swatch, so it's not gonna look as big as yours. So we're going to go to the very end here and turn the piece on its side. This is the top of the bib here, and we're going to chain two, skip a stitch, and basically that means a row, insert our hook, and do a single crochet. Chain two more. We're creating a loop all the way around the edging, but we will not be working back across the top. We're just making a loop stitch all the way around up to the top right here. Okay, and leave the top unworked. So continue to do two chains and place your hook in and do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet all the way around until you get back to the top portion again, and I'll meet you there. Okay, I've returned to the top after having made all of my loops around the entire bib except for the top portion. And I went ahead and uh, slip stitched into the very first stitch of the top. So I slip stitched in there and then I'm going to clip this off and pull that on through and I'm going to weave that end in later. I'm going to go to the other side and pull up a loop there and so show you how to do the edging from there. Okay, so we have two tails on here that will be woven in later. I'm going to go across to the other side. Now the reason why I went ahead and detached and I'm going to reattach over here is because I want the pico edging to face this away. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go into the very last stitch of the top of the bib and I'm going to pull up the yarn there, okay? And I'm going to grab the working yarn and chain there one time. Go into the first loop on the side and make a single crochet there. And remember, you're going to have to keep your yarn tight by all pieces, at least for the first stitch there. Okay, as soon as I have my single crochet, I'm going to chain up three. One, two, three. Now, we are forming the pico. We are going to now go back down into the meaty part of the single crochet. So we're going to go right back down into the middle of it. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. One pico made, okay? Now we are going to find the next chain two space and we're going to single crochet down into that. We're going to chain up three because we are doing our pico now. We're going to go down into the meaty part of the single crochet, right into the middle of it. So go right down into the middle of that, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. And by the way, pico stitches are done slightly different from one to the other, so this is the way we're doing this one. So now we want to go down into the next loop and do a single crochet, chain up three, Find the very middle of the single crochet stitch. Go down into the middle of it. Draw up a loop. Draw up a loop and pull through. So I want you to repeat this pico stitch in every single loop around the entire bib until you get back to the top portion again. We'll see you there. 
Okay, I've reached the very top of the other side of the bib with my Pico stitches, and I just slip stitched into the very top of the first stitch of the bib. And then I chained 50. We're going to chain 50 for the strap that goes around, and it will attach to this side with Velcro. So chain 50, and as soon as you have that 50, what we're going to do is go back across the chain and work a single crochet to make it a little bit thicker and make it into an actual strap. So chain your 50 and then work back across your chains in single crochet to the very end and I'll show you how to turn and do another row. Okay, I've finished coming right back down this strap row with a single crochet and I'm at the very end. I'm at the top of the bib, so what I'm going to do is a slip stitch two times. One, and then the next one, two, to attach it better to the bib. Then I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to go ahead and single crochet all the way across this again. Now, the very first one that you go in here is going to be rough because it is a slip stitch those are always a little rough so we're going to skip the first one and go into the second one so we've done one single crochet in the uh, second slip stitch from the hook now we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet all the way across so the last thing that needs to be done is to sew about one and a quarter inch of velcro stripping on the um, strap and on the back side of the bib and I'll show you where to do that. So I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, we're at the point where we need to know where to put the Velcro on the strap and the back of the bib. So what I do is I just shape this as if it were around the baby's neck and you just follow along where you've attached it to the bib and all the way around and so you want to put the Velcro on the top portion. Once you've done that, you want to follow the strap around and place it on the top portion and then place the Velcro on the back of the bib back here so you can attach it. Now this one is intended for a three to five month old and uh, I just want to review what I've done here. I have gone to 24 single crochet across with no added rows of 24 on top. I think I changed about 40 uh, to do the strap with. And the other one that I did, I did 28 single crochet across the top. And then I did four or five rows on top of that. Then I did um, 50 for the strap up here. So those are the dimensions of the two different sizes. Okay, well th thanks so much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here next time. Share these videos with friends. And I'm glad you joined me at Lamplight Crochet.